Good morning. I am out here at uh, Big South Fork. Um, met up with Papa in the Woods. We're going to spend the night out here. We're right above uh, Terry Cemetery. It's a little spot that he found for us for a campsite. I cannot escape airplanes, can I? And uh, just, a, just a quick trip for me, really. Um, I came to him about a month ago, I guess it was. Uh, I can take a little bit of time off. And I uh, had seen quite a few things in some of his recent videos that I thought would be interesting to see. So he was kind enough to, to, to guide me out here to see some of these things. Um, should be stumbling into Caprock, uh, Bruce's Arch, another arch which right now I cannot think of the name of. Oh, Russell Arch. Um, hopefully uh, some Native American sites and... Uh, Maybe a couple other uh, sites of uh, more recent uh, historical inhabitants. So it should be a pretty pretty good day. Uh, some decent fellowship, and uh, just thought I'd take you along. All right, so we are here at uh, Terry Cemetery, uh, trailhead parking area, and fixing to get underway. I'm gonna let uh, Papa take the lead because he's knows where all these sites are. They're all off trail. But I think Caprock is where we're heading to first. And uh, I'm going to take you along. It's, uh, it's a great time of year to be out here. The uh, Things are starting to bloom. Mountain laurel is going to be blooming really soon. And there's another nice one right over here. A real tall straight one. And then this is the second batch of, oops, too slow down, second batch of lady slippers we've already seen. Some, seen some flowers a minute ago from a dogwood tree, but haven't seen the tree itself yet. Pretty day. So, uh, we are currently on the trail out to Mod's Crack. So uh, you've seen it in a couple of my videos already, and then... If you've watched any of Papa's videos, he's been out here many more times than me, so you've seen it quite a bit. Uh, we're just talking and catching up, and there's really not a whole lot of anything new along this way to show you. So once we really get our adventure going, we'll I'll bring you back. And right about here is where we're going to leave the uh, trail, and then head off down this way. Although it's an unofficial trail, it's pretty heavily traveled, so there's no doubt about which way to go. Looks like we're starting to get into some bluff and ledge country, so... Oh, ooh, yeah, that's kind of pretty. Hopefully pretty soon we'll start to find some of the things we're looking for. going down pretty steeply for a few. Uh, Papa was taking a quick little detour just to see if he can find something he had lost once before, a month or so ago. And I'm just going to wait here on the side of the hill for him. It hasn't been a, hasn't been a bad hike so far. Little bit of a view. Now, this has been probably the worst of the hike so far. It's this little come down this hillside. And even then, it hasn't been that bad. Just gotta be a little careful. And we are nearing Cap Rock. I cannot escape airplanes and helicopters, but and here we are, just just right after I turned the camera off and turned my turn around. Here is Caprock. That is that is quite awesome. And right in here is Caprock window. It's 
a big hole in the rock. And the rest of the rock itself. We are right on top of it now, just about. Look at this thing, it's huge. There's the window. It's just an amazing, amazing thing from Mother Nature. It's just standing here on the side of a hill all by itself like that. Wow. All right, sorry for the crookedness because I've got my grow post stuck to a tree, but just for perspective, I'm going to show you how big this thing is. shot of it. I don't know how you can't not stare at this thing for hours. That is just amazing. One last. Here we go. Yeah, now we got some cool rock lines to follow. I just thought it would be fun now. Well, this is pretty neat. Obviously a drainage. And then into this nice rock house. But then you kind of go up there under the bowl, line it up with the drainage. It's obviously a waterfall from time to time. Not today, but still. That's a that's an awesome rock wall too. Alright. I don't think the sunspots are gonna help, but look how purple the rock is there. That's pretty cool. And then behind it that big old blow off. Oh, look at that thing. That thing's huge. We are discussing, if you can see it, this little flat, clear cliff line right at the top of the, oh, I'm sorry, it's a flat, clear spot at the top of the cliff up on this rock wall. But the views from there must be amazing. to call it. I, it looks like a medieval cathedral to me. Just all the columns and it's pretty cool. And the rest of this rock is pretty neat too. I know it's got to be real close, see, yeah. I don't see the bare stone, the bare rock, you know. We have pushed our, <laughs> left our way to that, what we hope was that bare rock, but we're not seeing it. But there are some pretty good views. Out here, we're right on the edge of it, just past these dead trees is the edge, but nothing bare that looked like from where we were at earlier. And then we trudged through all that to get here. So we are done with our bushwhacking experience on the other ridge over there. Oops, sorry, I'm slipping all over the place. We are uh, heading out towards a couple of the arches now, back on a more friendly ground. I'm starting to come into some pretty cool rock formations I'm going to show you in a minute. And we are underneath this really cool ledge. Look at this little hemlock tree just growing out sideways. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. So we're at this, this little spot. Just some really neat 
rock formations. Papaya's found it a couple, several videos back ago, and it just a place that fascinates him, so he's sharing it with me. It doesn't have a name of any kind, just little, little itty bitty columns in the making. That's pretty interesting, though. There's all these little little windows and oops, I'm gonna better zoom out so it's not so bad. There we go. Isn't that kind of cool? And there's there's just bunches of them. And you can make little faces of that one. Little, little baby archlets and that's just too cool. And climbs. Kind of went up in me. You never know, there might be some little arches up in there. The right place for it. Yeah, that is just amazing. Oh yeah, I mean, that is just. That looks like a little, like a little mud dauber's nest up there, but it's not. It's all, it's all natural. Oh, here's a nice little rock house. Get out of the weather. Spend the night someplace. It's pretty neat. Looks like somebody's been doing some digging in it. Yeah. Oh, and another little rock house. Oh, he's much bigger, though. I don't want to call him a little rock house. Yeah. It's a... That's much wedge-like. That's pretty neat. Think of a plow point tarp shut up and make it out of rock. Oh, so mistaken I was. So that's actually a little arch. And that's one of the ones we were looking for. Papa tells me it's Bruce's Arch. If you're looking for a name. Oops. And I am 6'2". Haven't hit my head yet, but I do have to duck right about here. Oh, isn't that cool? And then behind it, there's another little baby arch. Maybe Little Bruce's Arch? Wow. It's a... Yeah. It's not a warm day by any means, but there's probably 15 degrees worth of difference between underneath this rock and then. Okay, I can almost stand up again. And then, maybe Bruce's little hidey hole. It's kind of neat. Oh, I got my backpack stuck between a rock and a tree. Look at that. Okay, so we are coming up on a formation that Papa has called Nicole's Nest. It was an unnamed formation that his, one of his hiking friends, Nicole, climbed up the side of it and looked her way into this little hole here. So he has named it Nicole's Nest. And it's just right of, like one rock over from Bruce's Arch. So. Pretty cool. I think this whole rock face is pretty awesome. So, if there were the green foliage and stuff, this is the cold nest. It does look like a fun place to play, though. Just like them tree roots. That's 
pretty awesome. Yeah. One last look at Nicole's nest. Isn't that a pretty cool place up in there? And the rest of the rock face, we are going in a different direction from here, so I will share this with you as this. All right, there's Nicole's nest, and then we're going to turn around 180 degrees. And there's a dark spot right over here, which is where we're heading to next. And that is Russell Arch, which is uh, we're going to come up and just follow the ridge up here. Come down to it this way. Get, uh, three, four minutes maybe. Now. That's a little more impressive of a rock there. Just had to get on that tree. Three little purple wildflowers underneath this ledge. And I guess we're going to walk the ledge out towards the arch. ceiling here. Okay, so it's still just gives you the impression it's a rock house because coming over here to the little window slot here which that's how you realize it's an arch it reminds me a lot of that uh I went in Kentucky that we went out to last year Reminds me a lot of Mantle Rock. This is pretty neat. That is just too cool. love all these little swirls. I can never remember what they're called, but I think they're fascinating. I think we are leaving here and uh, I'm going to head on back and maybe get some more discoveries in. One last view of the arch. All right. <laughs> We have made it back to Mod's Crack Trail and heading towards Mod's Crack. We're going to veer back off again at some point. It's, uh, it's about 5 o'clock now, getting that way eastern. So we've got three, three and a half hours of daylight left. We're going to 
Try to pick up our pace a little bit, less dilly dallying. All right, so we are back off trail again. Uh, at one time, an old road. Can't really tell it much now. It's at best a beaten down path again. And going around the bluff that it becomes Mods Crack. So we will eventually catch up with the John Muir Trail again. But I'm going to go look for some more stuff while we have daylight. So Papai is showing me this old home foundation here. And I don't know if these rocks or any of them or not, but this pile of rocks up here is definitely an old chimney area. And it's a good possibility, no confirmation, so please don't think that I'm trying to tell you something that I don't know anything of. I have no idea, but it is possible that could be the remains of uh, Minnie Maud and her husband Isham Royston's home before it burnt. The possibility to, it's in the right description. It is pretty neat, just the same. Not much left of it now. You can see some of the original stack stones. Um, and then going this way, there's some more. Yeah, it's definitely a home site. Alright, so let me try this again without tripping over everything or jamming the camera into a bunch of holly leaves. We are now going to follow this cliff line out around to where it meets up with Yellow Cliff. And Yellow Cliff is where uh, the last time I was out here with Randy, uh, Katoff, and uh, Aaron Mooningham, and we stopped at Yellow Cliff. And so we're going to head out that way again. Here's some more of these little cool little, little things. Yeah. yeah, here, look at this. This is pretty cool. Let me get it back in the center. Ooh, slow down. It almost just looks like a perfect cone. Pretty neat. And we're making the turn from where we came from and then following the cliff line. Yeah. This is a cool rock wall. It's probably not showing up as awesome to you as it is here in person, but that, that is pretty cool, really. Another, and there is a cross and some stuff. Another archaeological tag. So this particular site has been excavated. Check out this. That's just a big, huge. And I don't know if this is coming out or not, but there's some, looks like some engraving. Uh, it's like Roman letters, so it's probably English. But then there's some scratchings, and looks like somebody tried to chip it all back out again. And then some bigger scratchings. So it's like a big circle right there. A bunch of writing in it. And like a cross here. That's about all you can see left. Is, this is just massive, though. Almost a perfect circle up there. Probably 150 feet. 150 feet, you think? It's tall. A continuation, or I guess another one, but there's a nice ledge up there. I'd be kind of neat to look around in. Not today. just got the feeling that it's going to keep doing this all the way around the corner. It's pretty cool though. Oh, look at the nice colors. That's pretty cool. No bucket on top of there. 
Oops. Yeah, there we go. That's better. So look at the nice, you nice colors. No bucket. Face by yeah. Pretty close. Huh. That is. Well, I think that's the bottom of a cast iron door. Okay. I can see that. Just a pretty neat little spot. Huh. A little firing. An old cloth. Pretty neat. And we're just about now to Yellow Cliff, as you can see. How good its name. Uh, we just got to fight through this a little bit more. Oh, finally. Something that resembles flat ground. Yellow cliff. Check out these pretty little fillers. I couldn't tell you anything about them. I'm not good with wildflowers, but yeah. stack stones is new since the last time I was here. And another Another archaeological tag. We were out here last time, we were sifting through some of the sand. You could see little flints of chert and flint. Neither are native to this area. So you can, you can just imagine a person sitting out here, maybe with a fire right there at that fire ring, chipping away, making them some arrowheads. Some little flint shards right here, just sifting through the sand. So those hands are... Yeah. Yeah, there's quite a few little flakes here. Uh, pretty neat. You can see here some fragments of mussel shells. Yeah, it's a pretty good waste of the river, so I don't think a... I wouldn't think any river animals brought it up here. Maybe a bird, I suppose, but... Not going to spend a lot of time here. We photoed it pretty good the last time we were here, but that's pretty cool. Little columns and stuff. Man, that was murderous climbing Thorns Mountain Laurel, Rhododendron, Holly, but we found it. Yellow Cliff Window. Uh, probably six feet wide. Four feet tall. Pretty neat though, huh? <laughs> All right, and we are back on a real trail. So we're a couple hundred feet down the hill from the Yellow Cliff window. And back on the Sheltoe Trace Trail now, heading towards no business area. We're gonna follow the bluff until we get to Mod's Crack. Uh, and then follow that trail all the way back out to where we parked. I'm probably going to end this part of the video here until we get back to camp. Unless something really interesting comes up. We're going to probably take another hour to get back to the car. And uh, we've got to finish establishing our camp, get a fire going. And really haven't eaten anything all day except for a handful of pistachios. So we're pretty hungry. But, uh, it has been quite the rewarding day. Seen more things than I was expecting and then they themselves were more than I was expecting to. So uh, I'll quit babbling now and uh, see you at camp.
Okay, just a quick little tour around camp because we're still trying to get ourselves situated. Uh, most of the big wood was here when we got here. Um, here's Papa's set up over here. Here. It's got pretty nice glow in the dark strings. And my setup over here. It's supposed to be cold tonight, like 34 degrees, so I'm using all my snug pack gear. I've got uh, my cocoon which is this part and I've got my inner hammock blanket and then my under quilt too my little lantern got to finish getting a good campfire going and then find us some dinner so I'm gonna let this go right now <laughs> I am not gonna film this tonight so <laughs> you guys are spared but I just wanted to show you what at least my dinner is intending to be. I'm going to try the new bush pot that my stepdaughter got me for the holidays this year. And the last of uh, some salmon packs that my, my dad had got me a couple years back ago. So tonight we are having spicy white bean soup with smoked salmon. said you're spared so morning we are uh, tearing our camp down I don't have too much more time I can can give out here so uh, our adventure ends after breakfast today which um, I had a little experiment with uh, so I'm going to show you that probably in a future video it's pretty good and uh, just wanted to say it has been a really good short little adventure um, Papa, I want to thank you for taking me out here. Sure, my pleasure. Me yep. My pleasure, Cole. I enjoyed every second of it. And there's our little camp for the, as we had it. Just got to clean up and, and head on out. So I want to thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.